In a previous series of PHP videos, we created a basic PHP CMS from start to finish using vanilla PHP. Now, this CMS was very basic. It, it was meant more as an instruction tool than it was for an actual CMS that you would use. Things like security and validation were basically non-existent with the purpose of really focusing on that CRUD process, that is create, read, update, and delete. Now, in this series of videos, we're gonna recreate that CMS using Laravel. And what you're gonna see is some of the things we left out just to focus on that CRUD process are almost going to be inherently included into our Laravel version of that CMS. So to start, we need to get a basic database up and running. Now, when you're coding a PHP application without Laravel, typically you would open up PHP MyAdmin and create your database using the PHP MyAdmin interface. However, with Laravel, we are going to use some migration tools. So let's start by looking at the database from the original PHP CMS. So I am, I have my GitHub profile open here. I am in the PHP CMS repository. I'm just gonna grab the CMS export and I'm gonna jump over to PHP My Admin. I am running MAMP for this example, so I'm going to test our Laravel application using MAMP. And I'm gonna create a new database, I'll just call it PHP CMS, just so we can import the original database and take a look at the structure we were working with. So if I look at our database, we have two tables, just projects and users. Our projects table has title, content, URL, and type. In this example, type is just an enum field. In our Laravel project, let's move that to a second table so we can incorporate an example of using a foreign key. We have some date fields and then the photo field. So in the previous CMS, we would actually take uploaded files, convert them to base64, and put them directly into our database. There's advantages and disadvantages to that, to that structure. Uh, the database is gonna get bloated because you have large files inside your database content. Pulling an image out of the database and displaying it or resizing it can be a little tedious. However, the file management is really simple. If you delete a record, the file goes with it because the file is inside that record. In our Laravel example, because Laravel has some great uploading and deletion file management tools, when someone uploads an image, we're just gonna put it into the actual file structure of our application and then save the file name to our database. So our database will be smaller, but we just have to be careful that when I delete a record, any corresponding files go with it so we don't have these stray files that are actually no longer being used. Right, then we have one other table and that is users. So in users, we have first name, last name, email and password and some date fields. So we want to recreate this table structure with, with some small revisions in our Laravel project. Now Laravel uses something called Eloquent. It's a, data, a series of database standards and tools that make managing your database much easier. There's a little bit of a learning curve to use Eloquent, but once you've, you, once you've gone over that learning curve, Eloquent is awesome. With Laravel, you create your, your tables and any database changes are applied using these migration files. And what this does is it allows you to basically implement database changes or new tables. And then if at any point you realize that this was a bad decision and it's causing problems, you can move your database back a couple steps. So anytime we wanna create a table, we create a new migration and you can see here is our code to create that table and here is our code to remove that table and we can move our migration forward a table or a change or back a table or a change. So what we wanna do here is 
add a migration file for both our projects table and we're going to have a types table. So first open up your users migration table and we want to store first name and last name separately. So let's just make that change. So I'm going to add a second column to our users table and now we have first and last being stored separately. Now before we create our projects and types, let's get these tables up and running. So I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm going to navigate to my Laravel application. And then I'm going to use the artisan tool. This is a command line PHP tool that comes with Laravel to run my migration. So I'm going to say migrate, refresh. And what the refresh command does is it'll empty my database out and run my migration files from start to finish. Now I'm getting an error here. It's saying that I, I don't have a database or connection information. So I haven't actually connected my Laravel project to my database. So let's create a new table. Sorry, a new database. We'll call it Laravel CMS. And then if I want to connect my Laravel application to that new database, I need to open up my ENV file. In my .env file, I just need to update the database parameters here to match my database. So the name of the database is Laravel CMS. The default username and password for a MAMP connection is root. And I did find that this didn't work for me. I had to add, and I think this is only when using MAMP, well, possibly on a Mac, but I had to add that socket information. So this is the location of my mysql.soc file. So if you're following along, try it without. If you're getting an error, put that in and see if that helps. If you do have to add the socket, make sure you adjust the file reference to reference your location of that SOC file. Go back to my terminal, and I'm just going to use a separate terminal instead of using the terminal within my IDE, just to allow more space for viewing my code. So now I can rerun that migration, refresh, and that time, no errors. Go to my database and refresh, and you can see I have all my tables. If I look at the structure of my users table, you can see there is first and last name. Next, we want to create our projects table. So I'm going to use the PHP artisan make command. Now the make command will basically create an empty template of any of the commonly used Laravel files, like controllers, like views, or migration files. So I want to make a migration file. And this is going to be used to create my projects table. And you want to use a name here that describes what this migration file is doing. Uh, also notice the name of my table is projects, plural. So with Eloquent, the way you name your tables and some fields is very particular to make sure that some of our code later on is going to work. And you'll see how that works when we get to uh, executing some queries. So table names are all lowercase and plural, like projects. We now have a create projects migration file and let's add our columns. So take our table and add title, which is a string. Take our table and add a URL, which is also a string. Now the URL is optional, so I wanna make sure that not providing a URL won't cause a problem, so I wanna make that nullable. Next we have our content, and content is gonna be a text field. And then we have our type. Now our type is going to be connected to a second table. So 
we don't want to put the types in this table. We want to create a what's called a foreign key to our types table. Now, when we create a foreign key, we need to name this using the table name except singular and then ID, which is the column that the foreign key will link to. And in this example, we, we did not do this in the first PHP CMS, but I wanna link our projects to users so we know which user added which project. And then finally, our image. So I'll just put that up here with our other string columns. So in our table, we want one more string column. This time we are just storing the name of our image, not the full image. So a string field is fine. And this can also be blank. And there we are. That is our projects table migration. So I can save that. And let's make one more for our types. So I'll just reuse this command, except this time it's create types table. And we'll open up our types migration. And this table is fine. We just need one more thing, and that is the title of our types. And that's it. All right, so let's test this out. I can now go PHP artisan migrate refresh. And that executed without any problems. So let's take a look at our Laravel database now. And you can see we have two new tables, projects and types. And if I check the structure, they will match the structure from our migration files. So our database is done. It's all up and running. Uh, just on a side note, be careful running that refresh command. It deletes your entire database and then runs every migration. So if you have live content in there, it's going to delete it. I hope you have a backup because there is no undo. If this is a live application, I believe that Laravel will actually warn you. So for example, if I go to my env file, somewhere in here we have a debug status and an environment an environment parameter, sorry, not status. If these are set to live or a debug is false, I believe if you run a refresh, it will have a confirmation before it executes that because it knows that running a refresh on live data is could be a disaster.